Hey everybody, um, today I'm going to show you how you can insert public commenting within a Google site. Now this is one of the biggest disadvantages of Google Sites. It doesn't allow any way for people outside of the site's domain to leave comments. But today I'm going to show you how you can use the website Discuss in order for people to comment on your Google Site. So let's get started. So to begin, you can see here that I have a Google Site. I've already gone ahead and signed in and you can tell that um, I'm signed in because I have my edit page button and my new page button right here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a new page where I want my uh, commenting to occur. So I'm going to click on the new page button and I'm going to go ahead and name my page. I'll just call it Discuss 179. I'm then going to create on the click on the create button. Once the page is created, um, I'm going to go ahead and click on Save. So right now I have a blank slate pretty much. I've got my uh, background image here, but it's a blank slate where I can now insert my comments. It's always a good idea. You can see right here I've got like add files and I have this internal commenting uh, field. You may want to get rid of those because sometimes it just messes up the, uh, the page. So I'm going to go ahead and click on More page settings and uncheck all of the page settings and click save. That way it just gives me a nice clean slate. So you can see I have nothing on here. I want to go ahead and add some comments. Now we're going to add our comments using the website discuss.com. That's D-I-S-Q-U-S. So once you go to that website you want to go ahead and sign up for a free account. Uh, once you do that you're going to click on dashboard and you're going to add a new Discus site. So once you click on your dashboard, you can see there's this little add button. I'm going to click on that. And I'm going to go ahead and go back to my Google site page I just created and copy that URL. You don't have to copy the HTTPS. And I'm going to go ahead and paste it into the site URL. You'll then want to come up with a site name and I'll just call it Discuss179. Uh, it's then going to automatically assign a short name which is based on your site name. So you can see right here Discuss179 is the short name and that is something that you'll want to remember uh, later on when adding comments to your Google site. You want to remember that short name. So once you have those three things filled out go ahead and click on continue and then this will take you to the last and final page which just gives you some other options if you want to insert it in WordPress or Tumblr or somewhere like that but we can ignore that for now because we're we're talking Google Sites so I'm gonna go ahead and click on dashboard and as you can see I now have a discuss 179 site set up so I'm gonna click on that and this will take me to the uh, admin dashboard screen and you can see right now obviously I have no approved comments I have no pending comments if I click on all there's nothing there because I haven't set it up yet but uh, this page will be important when you insert your uh, Google gadget. So you want to make sure that you have this tab open. Uh, if you want to go to settings, you can always go in there and tweak some of the settings. For example, if you want to allow for guest commenting to occur where people don't need a discuss account, you can click on that box. That way anyone who goes to your Google site will be able to comment on it. If you make any changes, be sure to save them and I'm going to go back to my commenting field all comments because like I said we will need this web address once we get that Google gadget installed that allows for the commenting alright so now that our Discus account is all set up and squared away and we have a site short name Discuss179 I can now go back to my Google site and insert the comments so in order to edit this page I'm going to click on the pencil and then to get this background looking right I'll just kinda move it down a little bit and I want my comments to appear right here now the code the XML code that you're gonna paste in is available uh, underneath this video on my blog but I'm gonna go ahead and pull up that XML code since I don't have it with me right now and this is a step you will not need to do because you'll already have the code like I said it's right under the video at the bottom of this page but I'm going to the site where I originally got the code 
and I'm just going to copy this XML code so that I have it when I need it and I'm going to go back to my Google site and click on insert more gadgets you're then going to click on add gadget by URL and you're going to paste in that XML code and click add I now have some uh, options that I need to add uh, there's that discus short name uh, that we need so I'm going to go ahead and put in the discuss short name which was well, it wasn't I forget discuss 179 and it may be case sensitive I'm not exactly sure so you may want to type it exactly how it appears okay once you do that you want to go ahead and go back to discuss and make sure you have the all tab selected and now you're going to copy the URL of the all tab for the comments and you're going to paste that into page URL uh, it's up to you as far as do you want a border around it do you want a title displayed you can play with that and then go ahead and click preview to see if it works so right now it's loading and you can see yes right there I can start leaving comments as myself and other people can come in and comment as well so all that looks good so I'm gonna click OK I'm then gonna click Save and now I have a Google site where I can actually leave comments hey this is pretty cool and then I can post it as Doug Saunders and it shows up right there um, I have another page I've been testing out just so you can kind of see what it looks like um, that's not it let's give it a second here here we go so here's kind of a completed uh, page you've got comments and discussion forum if you scroll down there's 18 comments and it's pretty nice they're tiered comments uh, people can insert images with the comments you can reply to those comments or share them out via Twitter Facebook or just a public link um, here's a comment that I made on an iPad so it works on a mobile device and it's just a nice clean interface so that's what uh, commenting looks like within a Google site, public commenting. Hope this video helps.